Hey everyone and welcome to a new Xemus video. Today we will take a closer look at the dead zone settings in Yuxim Manager to find out what they actually do. From my experience most people seem to misunderstand the purpose of those settings, which is why the following video hopefully helps to clear up some misconceptions. To find these settings, load your favorite Xim config and click on the edit button. Swipe one time to the right and scroll all the way down. Expand the advanced settings of the analog options and once again scroll all the way down. Here you can find the dead zone settings. Now all analog settings will only apply to a second controller that you connect to your XIM. So they will not affect your regular authentication controller or your mouse and keyboard which are connected to your XIM. To clarify, with second controllers I refer to devices such as the Sony NAV, the Azeron or a second console controller. So if you play with mouse and keyboard and you only have one controller connected to your XIM, then these settings will literally change nothing. Now let's assume you're using a second console controller, for example the Xbox Elite controller on the PlayStation 4, or you're playing with a Sony NAV plus a mouse. The dead zone settings will allow you to fix worn out analog sticks that maybe even have a drift in the game. In that case you would normally need to purchase a new controller, but with a XIM you can fix it by yourself. Now here is how it works. Let's look at the following controller. We will focus on the left analog stick. I will now change the analog stick color to red. And the stick position will be the small blue dot. So when you for example pack the analog stick to the right side, the blue dot would be at the following position. Now in the center of the analog stick there is a so called dead zone. I will use a yellow color for it. Any stick movement within the dead zone area will not result in an in game movement. For example, the following stick position will not result in a movement, although it's slightly packed to the side. But if you move the stick a little bit more to the right, then you will see a movement in the game. Now let's say your analog stick is very old and worn out. That means you cannot perfectly center your analog stick anymore. The default position of your stick is for example like the following. As you can see, it is slightly outside of the dead zone, so in the game I will have a permanent aim drift to the left side. Now to fix the drift you just have to increase the dead zone settings for the left analog stick in your XIM manager. Continuously increase it until there is no more drift to the left side. Once you have found a sufficient value the picture will look like the following. Your worn out stick position is now within the dead zone again. If you have any questions about your XIM or about this tutorial just ask in the comments down below. Guys if you like this video hit the like button or even subscribe to this channel. And for the crazy guys out there, you can even support the channel now by becoming a channel member. I'd really really appreciate that. Channel members also get exclusive benefits such as early access to all videos. Also let me know if you would like to see more of these Xymus videos and don't forget to post your own suggestions in the comments down below. But that's about it for this video guys. Thanks for watching and I will maybe see you in the next one.